friend of the show and a member of the Phoenix Suns, the former Big Ten National College Player of the Year, Frank Kaminsky joining us on the program. How was the celebration there, Frank? It was pretty fun. I mean, when you show up to an airport and there's 20,000 people there, it's pretty wild. If you guys had to play a game the next day after the celebration, what kind of condition would everybody have been in? Oh, we'd have been fine. I mean, there's still not a lot you can do. You know, you get home late, maybe throw a couple of beers back. I don't know. A little celebration. Well, I, I saw you. Nothing too crazy. I saw you chugging a beer in front of the crowd. Yeah. I mean, sometimes when they start chanting Frank the Tank and <laughs> things start getting a little wild, you know, <laughs> the people what they want sometimes. Are you watching the Bucks and Hawks? Absolutely. I can't get a playoffs this year. I think it's been great. Do you can you watch as a fan or are you actually taking mental notes when you're watching? I can't watch as a fan, no. I, I pay too much attention. I watch too much film. Um study the game too much to just just watch casually. Uh when I start watching I get really into it. So um yeah. And especially knowing this is for sure who we're gonna be playing one of those two teams. Um you watch it even even closer. There's the moment when uh, Patrick Beverly pushes Chris Paul and you're right there next to him. Yeah. What, what do you, like put us in real time of what you're thinking. What do you see then what are you thinking? So we obviously went on a run. Um you know, close out game emotions are high. Uh we didn't get the job done in Phoenix, whatever. Uh, we came out and we played well in the second half of that game. Um Obviously, there was a lot of chirping, a lot of reviews, a lot of things going on back and forth in that game. Um, Chris hits a big shot. You know, Chris is a leader. Obviously, emotions were high. Um, I run out like I always do. I, I stand up the whole game right now, run out like I always do, just to you know be a good teammate and give people high fives and do stuff like that. I see, you know, Pat kind of get a little frustrated. And some backstory, I've known Pat for a long time. We have the same age, major. Uh, same trainer in Chicago. Um, you know, he's always been good to me, always been a good mentor. Um, obviously, it looked like he was going to come up to say something to Chris, and then he shoves him. And, you know, we always have this thing with our team where it's it, it's don't – Monty says it all the time. It says don't, just don't react to the silliness. Um, you, know, and you, you can see our whole reaction. It was just making sure Chris is okay and then – not making sure we do something stupid because we knew we were going to be advancing and you, and, you, and you don't want to have something dumb happen. But obviously, you know, wish that didn't happen. You know, I'm sure Pat definitely thinks that was lapse of judgment on his part. Um, but that's when the emotions are high and you're on a stage like that. You know, things like that can happen. How do you how do you hold back not doing anything? Um, you know, it's tough. You know, obviously. <laughs> Media has their opinion on what I should have oh, I know. Not been doing. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you don't, especially, you know, the position I'm in, you don't want to make things about yourself. Obviously, you want to defend your teammate and do stuff like that. But, um, you know, if I was out there just throwing haymakers, that'd be a completely different story. You know, may, may put someone in a situation that's actually playing to get fined or suspended or have something stupid happen. And, you know, that would make me feel 10 times worse. I would have taken Beverly, though. I think if you guys squared off, Frank. I mean, no offense. I think you're too you're you're, you're, you're too tall to be a, a boxer. Um, you know, I do some bo I do a lot of boxing in the summer. Uh, I might surprise you. I have some reach. Oh, I know that. But so you're saying if if we had you know these celebrities are fighting now all the time. Yeah, if I two boxing match. Yeah, you and Patrick Beverly in the ring. What do you think? Um, After the season. All right. Oh, you. <laughs> I'll take myself. <laughs> All right, Paulie, get get a hold of a promoter. So Mark? I got I got Frank the Tank against uh, Patrick Beverly. You know what for the Paul brothers? Yeah, and then the winner gets one of the, the Jake Paul or Logan Paul. Uh, I always wanted to. Ask you this, and it's not just you, but it's other players. That when you have all this success in college, and then you go to the pros, and you were a high draft pick, and now you become a role player, like. What that does to your ego or how do you compartmentalize that, that you used to be the man at Wisconsin and a big, yep. you know, the college player of the year. Now, all of a sudden you're on the bench. Yeah. I, I mean, it's definitely difficult. Um, there's a lot to adjust to. Um, 
But when you're on a team like this and you're playing on the best team of your career, um, all that kind of takes a back burner to the whole team success. You know, we have a great culture with our team. And obviously, I'd love to be playing. Um, you know, that's just the competitive side of me. You know, every time we get into a game, I want to go out there and I want to play. And I, and I think that's the overwhelming majority of the NBA. You know, there, five people can be on the court at the time and not everybody's going to play. And obviously, there's going to be situations where you have to keep yourself ready. You never know what can happen. Um, you know, and that's kind of kind of been my mentality this year. You know, I started off this season at home by myself after getting waived by the Kings and didn't really have anything. And then I got the call from Phoenix that they wanted to bring me back. So everything that for me this year has been a huge change in mentality. Um, you know, I started off the season literally nothing. So amazing the position, uh, going to the NBA finals, going to be on a team. And I've contributed to points of the season that I'm proud of where I am and I'm proud of this team and I'm proud of what we're doing. But also, like, how do you feel when the Kings let you go? Um, you know, that, that was tough. You know, I started out free agency last year. Nobody was calling. Wasn't a lot of options. Um, took a non-guaranteed deal with Sacramento, and they ended up waving me after the preseason. And, I mean, I'd say that's a low point for me. Um, but, you know, obviously did enough last year with Phoenix and made enough good relationships that they felt it good enough to bring me back. And like I said, I felt like I've contributed a lot of different points throughout the season. So that's something I'm really proud of to start mentally to start the season off with nothing and be in the position I'm in. It's been, it's been great for me. Well, congratulations because that's where you get down and then you wonder, okay, now what am I going to do with my life? Nobody's, nobody's going, you could have a ring in a couple of weeks. Pretty yep. amazing. Pretty amazing. It's, 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 it's wild. And I definitely knew coming into the season that we were going to be in this position. You know, our team was good. We had a lot of guys who were on the rise and, you know, it's just something I wanted to be a part of. Like I said, the culture here is amazing. Well, congrats there, Frank. And uh, good luck with whoever you play and hopefully you get uh, an opportunity. And uh, the next time somebody push, pushes uh, Chris Paul, <laughs> No, don't do anything. Even though social, like social media roughed you up. They're like, come on. Like, they're not the ones who get suspended or have to pay a fine. Yeah, they, they, exactly. Right? Yeah. And, you know, I'm not really, you know, I'd be the first to say I'm not, I'm not really much of a fighter. So, um, you know, I'm just happy we won. <laughs> and we'll go with that. I'm happy we won and I'm happy Chris is fine. Yeah. So we'll go with that. Hey, uh, thank you, Frank. Great to talk to you again and uh, good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's uh, Frank Kaminsky.